So after four and a half years, I started the golf project in 2016. I think I finally figured out how to get that proper position at impact we all want. And um, like everything else in golf, it's counterintuitive. So, you know, so we all know, want, know that we need to have open hips and hands ahead of the ball and all that stuff. We all need to want to look like this or, or this, depending on what your heel does. Well, like everything else in golf, it's counterintuitive, you know, but you learn, you learn. So I tried these drills where I would force the hands ahead or I would squat and turn and turn the pelvis and all that stuff. That sort of works, but you're doing it back assward. It's, it's, you're, it's not, you're, you're, you're avoiding the real thing you need to do. And that is, first, you do have to get the mechanics. You can't, in my case, my mechanical problem was I, my, my arms were sloppy and I was, see this elbow would get stuck on the way down. I wasn't, I wasn't swinging freely, okay? And so I fixed that. But there's some basic things you got to do with the swing. First, you've got to figure out a way to get those arms back and forth easily without screwing it up. Then you have to understand the shoulders. So here's the perfect golf swing. It's so easy to do when you don't have your arms. See, with no arms, you just go boom, boom. Real simple. But it's our arms that make it hard, okay? So now try to do that with arms. Oh my God, what do you do? So once you do a lot of work and you get the basics and the fundamentals, how do you get to that next level where you are really doing this? And what gave me the idea was a couple of things. I saw a front view of Adam Scott and Tiger Woods. And I realized that watch my left shoulder and left hip right Right now, it's at this position. When they come down, their whole torso slides. They get that whole body left. So watch Adam Scott. He comes up here, and then he... Mm, mm, okay, so this whole center of gravity goes from here to here. That gave me an idea, so I was playing around with it. And then I was working on my proper elbow position to come down in front of me and everything. I was doing these drills where I would start this and then I started to swing freely and then I said wait that Brooks Kepka front views and are very good too so if you watch Brooks Kepka he swings like this so you if you view your shoulders as a circular arc and that your neck or your sternum is the axis you don't turn your shoulders with a rigid axis that you that axis goes this way and this way okay so you turn your shoulders back this way and then they go this way okay so when you're up here and you visualize coming down think of that arc going this way so basically as you swing the shoulders down you're moving them forward okay now that forces the hips and everything. So if, if I go from here to here, you're forced to move the hips. That happens because you're going from, okay? So once you realize that you're not swinging around a stable axis that you get up here and you do this, then it starts to make sense. And so that's what I've been doing. And uh, I mean, look at these. Look at these front views yesterday of an iron. I get that effortless balance and all that stuff. It's because I'm letting my, and my problem like a lot of people was I was a flipper. So I would release early and I was afraid. I felt like there was this imaginary glass wall here and I was afraid to get past that imaginary glass wall. I think that's very common. So we all wanna, there's the target, there's the ball. Oh. We want to hit here, hit here. No, you've got to get past that glass wall. And so once you start to realize that, swing the arms freely and then rock them, okay? Rock them. Get that, get this center of these shoulders like this, okay? That's the key.